Hey there, crafty friends. It's me, Nicole, and I'm back with another dollhouse project. I think this one's my favorite because it's completely customizable for the seasons, meaning I put all the art on hooks and Velcro, and you can take it all out and switch it, <clears throat> excuse me, for the holidays. So right now we're getting ready for Halloween, and as you can see, I have it decorated for Halloween. I'll come in and show you a little bit closer all the details, and then I will switch it out for Christmas so you can see that and then um, yeah there's other art I have for when it's not a holiday or when it's Easter okay let's check it out all right so here's the top floor I did the wooden beams like I usually do with just a dowel a square dowel got that Lux Pro light in there so it lights up the whole house beautifully at night uh, that's a Dollar Tree dresser that I painted and added beads to the bottom instead of the tiny little legs. They were uneven. Um, I love that little fish tank with the fish. It looks so real. Uh, the beds, I had this bed from a yard sale stash and I just reupholstered it so that it matched the theme. And those blankets back there are chamois that I found at the Dollar Tree and they're super soft so they feel like blankets. The wallpaper in this house, all of the paper came from wedding day collection from, oh my gosh, the bird's out here. It's like a Hitchcock movie. It's fitting for Halloween. Okay, now you can really tell I have ADHD. Okay, so anyway, back to this video. Where are we? Oh, the steps. I put some fun... Um, little pumpkins some craft pumpkins that I got uh, the little wooden ones and the little foam ones are from the actually all of them are from the Dollar Tree the steps the top of the step is popsicle sticks let's see that vanity came from my stash the stool was a vase and a little wheel from a wood kit the chair I had left over from um, some old couches I had that Halloween tree came from the Dollar Tree. The computer came from Timu. So did the Starbucks cup. All the Wayne's coating that I did in the back is just wood slats with um, bamboo sticks. And the Halloween decorations came from scrapbook.com. I believe it was Prima Pink Halloween or or something. I'm not exactly 100% sure what that was. What, what they're from so let's go back to oh this is a Dollar Tree desk that I painted the chair is from the Dollar Tree the cabinet in the back is from Hobby Lobby I just pulled out like the aluminum I guess it was like a pie cabinet it was called it was like three dollars and I just cha changed it I primed it and painted it the paint is Waverly pink no ballet slipper is the name of the paint the Waverly chalk paint I got that at Walmart um, these furniture pieces came from Hobby Lobby that ladder was actually part of like a little Halloween ornament thing that I got um, on Timu that little sign came from Timu those candles are from a mini brands uh, home ball The macrame you've seen me use in a lot of houses before. Uh, sorry, I was just a little distracted Hi. because I got a visitor. Hi. Hi. Here's the bathroom. Made the shower out of um, the peel and stick tiles from the Dollar Tree. The shower head is from Timo. So is the toilet. The toilet paper is just... Um, an actual piece of toilet paper wrapped up on a shoelace um, piece of plastic. But you can get rolls of toilet paper. You can get like a pack of these. They sell those on Timo as well. Um, I think I might even be saying it wrong. I think it's Temo. But um, yeah, the kitchen, the spice jars come from Timo. So did the... I don't even know what those are. Utensils. The cutting boards are also from there. A, a lot of these little miniatures are from there. The kitchen itself I built 
I, uh, what I did is I took a Dollar Tree crate, I cut it in half and <clears throat> then arranged it like an L. Those little knobs came from Hobby Lobby. I just painted them black and all of the drawers are just different size popsicle sticks. The oven and the refrigerator are from Hobby Lobby. Um, the table, the bottom is a candlestick and the top is a coaster. The chairs came from an old stash and the silverware and plates are from Timu. The placemats are earrings. Uh, the pot came from Hobby Lobby. The paper on the floor here is from Hobby Lobby's farmhouse collection. And the paper over here is a peel and stick tile from the Dollar Tree. That rug is um, a mop top from Dollar Tree. And the vanity is from Hobby Lobby. The outlet is from Timu. And the vase is a bead. The little loofah is from Timu. Um, let's see. What else? The floor up here, as well as all that, I think I said before, was from the Wedding Day collection. The carpet paper is from Asuka Studios. And that is pretty much it. So I'll show you quickly how it switches out. I'm going to pause it, though. Okay, so I'm going to precariously try to do this while also filming. Uh, I told you it was precarious. All right, so we've got you glow pumpkin. We're going to take that down and we're going to replace it with, how about this one? It's the most wonderful time of the year. So we'll stick that right there. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. It might be a little too big for that wall. I might use it somewhere else, but we'll see. I hung Santa up there. Let's see. Over here. Oh, should we try to turn the lights on outside? I feel like you can't really tell outside. All right. Let's take this. Well, I'm going to have to pause the video for that because I'm not trying to knock over all of that stuff. Okay. I'm back. I've got Santa over here. I have... Oh, I forgot to put something over here. Am I missing something? Maybe I am. Okay. Well, Gassy. Huh? Gassy. All right. So, yeah, I am missing something. So, I'm going to have to go see what I'm missing for Christmas. I'm missing a piece of art for Christmas, but that's okay. We'll figure that out. Um, you know what I can do? I can put Santa over here there we go we'll put Santa over here okay and we'll put life is short lick the spoon over here perfect there we go and now we are all decorated for Christmas. I'm so sorry that there is such a lack of light. I took the house outside because I thought there'd be more light. Yeah, no, I was wrong. I've got have yourself a merry little Christmas over here. I switched out the ladder. I switched into a Christmas macrame. I put, I decided I was going to put the tree up here, but then I decided to put the tree in the living room for Christmas. I've got trees and a snowman on the steps. Santa is calling up here. I forgot about that cute little tissue box. And there you have it, my fun friends. I don't know why I'm talking to you like I'm talking to my students. But <laughs> anyway, that is it. That is the house decorated for Christmas. So you get the point. And I even have my little, hold on, let's get her. There she is, my little Christmas Chelsea doll. So you can see, you can have so much fun with this house. I'm just obsessed with it. I love it so much. Um, I'm also working on another Halloween house right now, and it's a completely different vibe. This one's just pastel and pink and not so spooky. So I really love this house, and I hope you love it too. If you have any questions, just let me know. Oh, I did forget to tell you that the paper, the house is papered in Ella and Viv brick. I'm starting to really love this paper. Um, it is more expensive to do a house in this paper than just sanding and painting, but it's a lot less work, and it turns out really cute. Especially, look at the little front door. All right, that's about it. Adios, bye.